This video is proudly brought to you guys by Gum Out. As you can see, I'm not Chip Foose. So what we have to accomplish and what I'm about to tell you is going to be extremely difficult, all things considered. All right, okay, okay, listen. If you let what I'm about to tell you sink in, you should freak out as much as I did when I was told that Gum Out wants us to build a vehicle for them to give away to you guys. What's even more bananas is they said I can choose whatever vehicle I wanted, and once I get the vehicle, I can do whatever I want to it as long as it's not illegal, which I know that's a bummer, but I think we can work within those guidelines. I found this sick chopped 39 Chevy truck on Marketplace. You're probably wondering why we're taking the engine out. Well, I told the previous owner, this is for a giveaway. I want to do this. I want to do that. And he was like, well, I've got a good amount of money invested in the drivetrain. If you let me keep it to put in one of my other vehicles, you know, we'll take that much money off the price. And I thought, well, that's perfect because then we can choose the drivetrain that we want and then we'll have some extra change to put into some other components of the truck. We'll go into more detail about the giveaway itself at the end of the video but what i want you to know now is this is completely free to enter and there's nothing you can buy that will increase your odds what will increase your odds of winning is entering every month from now until december there's a link in the description to do so i also want you to know that you were watching this about a week and a half after we purchased the vehicle and for the first five days all i did was stare at it and try to imagine what i wanted it to become which means your opinions are going to be extremely valued and considered beings that we are building this for you Lastly, I'd like to point out that it is my counterintuitive goal to burst into tears when this leaves. I want to be so proud and so in love with what we have created that when it goes to the hands of one of you guys, I cry and I am sad. As weird as that sounds, that is my goal. We waste no time. I get the opinions of my friends, let them start imagining what they want it to become, and then I do the first thing that I knew I wanted to do to this truck. I didn't thought they it already. It's nice. It's real nice. Frame's done. That's what I was telling Austin, like between the chop and the frame, like you couldn't build one. I couldn't have. I mean, I'm not saying you couldn't, but it, it takes a while. It take to a while get it to this standard, like I'd probably have to build three or four of them before. No, I'd... that's this is all powder coat ready. I mean, besides cleaning it, right? I like how we incorporated those headlight mounts to the shock mounts. Yeah, there's a lot of little details. Like the more you look at it, you're like, oh. Group service. Thoughts? Me like it. <laughs> it looks like they did a good job. Yeah, sitting in this will be good to show people that large, lengthy Six individual. Foot four. Yeah. I think once we get a little bit smaller steering wheel. I'm working in here. Okay, so headroom, good. Once we get the seat to go back, smaller steering wheel. There's probably seven or eight inches behind you on the floor because the seat's slanted. You just do the blinkers with your knee. <laughs>
think this is a little, just a little bit too stubby. Kind of hoping we can hang the bed off a little bit more than normal. Preston from five years ago would just pick a spot and cut. Preston now uh, has learned what cardboard is. But we're approximately a couple hours into this and I've already made my first mistake. I cut the opposite side on this side. So on this side, I left that back support on and cut the front off, you know, to make it shorter. On this side, I left the front support on and cut the back off. Luckily, they're totally the same and the bottom part doesn't matter because we're going to change that. So luckily, my mistake doesn't really matter, but nonetheless. saying we just you take this out this whole center piece and then move your bed rail from here closer to your cab after you drop it and that'll give you your three and a quarter to four inches right here which you were going to chop off the back here bed will scoot forward about three and a quarter inches and then curve like yeah grind this down yep. to curve, to curve the body the, of yep. the match the match the body curvature okay not big but like something to give it or a just bit. a couple in the middle exactly and just to give it wrap it around the body you yeah know? It bothers me when you have really good ideas that are gonna add Work. hours. It'll be fun. Give you a high five if you can tell me what that is. Bet you can't. What is it? Me no left hand. <laughs> I was gonna say that one you did with absolute confidence. Yeah. <laughs> I'm alright with it. Oh, I second guess. <laughs> I know. That's what, that's what scared me. I'm like, oh, okay. I guess we'll see. Well, we could fill it in. You know what I mean? Fill rod if we need to. I didn't go too far in. Okay. Go look. Go double, go double check. Yeah, that side from here looks. I'm, I'm just going in basically into this this point right here. Yeah, I like that. Like basically that edge, and that's what I'm doing on that one. Okay. So this one just. Uh, Do you want me to cut a little outside the line and then we yep. can feather it? Yep. Okay. Let's see how I didn't go all the way to the edge here. Oh, you already did that. The line was the feather. Huh? The line was the feather. You already feathered the line for me. I feathered. Tell you what, Manny. 
Okay, Manny's lying. My cut. It's not bad. <laughs> Tell you what, dude, that's uh, it's pretty clean, huh? I think if we just take a little more off the bottom, like where the straight line is, there. yep, just a little bit more. And that was probably in, that was in my cut, I was being safe. This side's pretty, uh, it was a little more aggressive. How's that, I think it lines up dude? That's so much, that's crazy, so much shorter, so better. much shorter, yeah, perfect, and there's still. Push it outside real quick. I know you're short on time, but... Okay. Okay, okay. All right, okay. That was your idea. That was your lines. You and I make a great team. There you go. I don't know if we're going to get any No, it's... Yeah. He just yeah. painted it. Where? In his garage? Yeah. His house, yeah. Job. No, he didn't. I'd be proud of that. Hey, move your move your attractive calves. Oh, almost forgot to tell you guys. Gumout is also doing monthly giveaways. So this month, five individual people will receive a one-year supply of Gumout, a Garage Idiot t-shirt, a Gumout t-shirt, a Gumout hat, and a Gumout tumbler. Just for entering to win the truck, you also have the opportunity to win things every month. When you call my name. I just watched the new Deadpool trailer and Reynolds put that dumb song in there and now it's going to be in my head all day. Let's go over what we got and then we'll get you guys out of here. I could talk to you guys for hours and hours about what my plans are for it and what we want to do, what Manny wants to do, what Dennis wants to do, but we'd be here for hours. So let's just go over what we are starting with and then we'll let your guys' imagination start to go crazy and we'll just turn the comment section into a giant brainstorming frenzy, okay? So let's start with the frame because... If I were to do something like this, I'd have to probably screw up six or seven times before I was able to get a result like this. And the more you look at the frame, the more you'll appreciate it. I mean, down to like the motor mounts are super cool. Just extra time went into that. The gussets, like Manny was pointing out, how they tied in the shock mounts to the headlight mounts, big monoleaf support. Like, I don't think that's called a monoleaf, so correct me. I don't know all this hot rod suspension, Componentry, I don't, this is all new to me. He told me that basically this was all done, put on brakes, the whole nine, and then he drove it like 200 miles. So all of this is basically new, which is pretty cool. We have an awesome, awesome base to start with, okay? He also pointed out these welds right here that he ground down. These were his first welds that he ever did. So considering that he did the chop, all by himself is nothing shy of impressive. When I did the welds on the bug, the whole roof of the bug looked like a piece of bacon. And if it wasn't for the miracle of Bondo and Duraglass, let's not talk about it. So considering that he just learned how to weld and where the seams are, are relatively flat. I mean, right here, you can feel where the metal shrunk and it's, it's maybe only like an eighth of an inch. So like, we'll, we're gonna be able to do just a real thin skim on this and it's gonna be nice and straight. Interior. All right, I don't think <laughs> that me and Manny's idea is the same. But what I told Manny, I said, if the 1950s mafia, if, if Las Vegas built a hotel in 2024 for the 1950s mafia, what, what, that's what I want this to look like. He started sending me pictures of like alligator green fabric. And so I don't think we're on the same page, <laughs> but I'm excited to see what he comes up with. And we'll, we'll make adjustments and hear what you guys have to say when that time comes. As I said, previous owner pointed out that he just started welding. And um, so he pointed out all of his flaws. So this transmission tunnel is a little eh. So we're gonna redo that. Most of the floor, I want to redo as well. Um, basically the whole floor I'm planning on redoing. I'm gonna buy a bead roller. I don't know if you guys have seen some of the cool like line work that people will do, but I'm gonna test my hand in that and try and make the floor of this look insane. We have an obnoxious amount of time just in finishing work on like welds and grinding and smoothing before Manny's even ready for this. Previous owner was gonna do all that. He just didn't get to it. He just didn't finish it. This is not intended to be a rat rod. This is intended to be a hot rod. This door shuts pretty good. That door over there, the hinges are a little wee wee, but we can fix that. Back here, we got a Ford nine inch rear end. We do have airbags. They're not on a controller yet. They were just on a little manual uh, 
thing, Bob, here, and you just fill it up and let it out as you please. Unfortunately, we had to cut the taillights off because we're gonna be putting a bed here. So our ideas are going everywhere from like, I mean, these are just all ideas, right? This is just what my brain and our brains have been spewing out. So like radiating the rear, custom air box up front, like, and that's also all dependent on what engine we do. I'm hoping you guys want the same engine I want. Uh, for context, this thing, he said with the 454 and the trans he had in it, it weighs about 2,400 pounds. So I don't think a thousand horsepower is necessary or a good idea at all, considering we don't know which one of you is gonna win this. If Don from Home Depot, who's been daily driving a V6 Silverado for the last 20 years of his life, wins a thousand horsepower, 2000 pound car. <laughs> I don't know what I would do with a thousand horsepower, 2400 pound car. Not to say I have tons and tons of driving experience, but I have a little bit more than Don in his V6 Silverado and I would, it's, I don't think it's a good idea. Manny, Manny's really into old cars. Like old school stuff is kind of his thing. And he has so many ideas for the bed alone that we could spend, I could spend a year <laughs> doing what he wants on the bed. Lucky for you guys, we have a legally bound deadline for this thing. And so instead of, I say that because some of our projects, most of them have taken way too long. And this, we only have about eight months left to complete. And that might sound like a long time, but we're basically gonna do everything we're gonna do. Take it all off. Frame's gonna get powder coated, full body work, full paint, full interior, the engine bay. Assuming we do what I want to do up here, it's, like I said, I'm not gonna go into detail, but it's gonna, it's gonna be wicked. It's gonna look, it's gonna look incredible. I'm really excited. I'm kind of trying to treat this like a, I guess like a job interview kind of like if we can pull this off and we can we I can make this look and be what is in my brain I think it'll really set us up for the future it'll get more companies on board it'll get more people to see what we can do and kind of want to help us out so that we can keep doing this more so that's how I'm looking at this is this needs to be the best thing we've ever done, like by a mile. Lots of pressure, but really excited. So I mentioned in the beginning, you sign up, it's free to enter. You can do so once a month, and that's how you increase your odds. There's no buying anything to increase your chance of winning. However, although buying Gumout's products will not increase your odds, it would mean a lot to me if you did go support their business because they are making this happen. They are supplying the budget for this build basically just to support the car community. Like it, it, they're not making money from this giveaway. They're just doing this to support us and you and the community and just kind of get things rolling and get their name out there to people like you. All of their products are things that are good for your car. Well, I got some here on the shelf. What do we got? What do we got? Yeah, carbon choke cleaner, parts degreaser, fuel injector cleaner, uh, tune up in a bottle. I know they just came out with a mass airflow sensor cleaner. Yeah, that's right there intake valve and turbo clean like they've got stuff that's good for your car so next time you're at AutoZone or walmart or o'reilly or napa wherever you go grab a bottle support them because they're supporting us and they're they're making this happen and this i don't know if it's set in for you guys as much as it did me but like they picked us <laughs> to do this which is crazy so uh just give them a thank you it's it's been a it's been a cool partnership we've been partnered with them for a couple years and it doesn't feel like we're working with a big company. It feels like we're working with a mom and pop shop. And it's just, they, they listen to my ideas. I listen to their ideas. It's been very easy going, very cordial. And it's, it's super cool that we've escalated <laughs> to something like this. So, um, okay, that's all the time I'm going to take up from you. Let me know, let me like, honestly, let me know where your head's at. What engine are you thinking? What colors are you thinking? You know, do you have ideas on the bed? If you guys have pictures of trucks or renders or ideas, message me on Instagram, send me stuff. Let me know, let me know where your head's at. I want this, I want this to be, I mean, this is for you. So I want you guys to be a part of, you know, brainstorming and designing and kind of coming up with ideas for this because you get, it's, it's yours, which is, Kind of make me really sad when it leaves, <laughs> but I'm really excited. So, ah, we have so much work to do. We have a lot of work to do. In, in addition, in addition to this, we're gonna keep going on this. And the plan, as you might not believe me, but the plan is to increase what we're doing with these cars as well as build this. We're gonna really try and go full throttle with what we're doing as far as the YouTube goes. 
and it's it's probably gonna be pretty stressful and uh <laughs> it's it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting so thank you guys for watching thanks for your time let me know what you think go support gum out and uh be sure to enter to win because it's free i don't know why you wouldn't there's a cash price too if you're insane and you choose to not take this truck there's a cash price you could choose if you're boring and don't like awesomeness but you know to each their own okay we're gonna get to work thanks for watching guys we'll see you later